Once the red marks were gone, there was no broken bones, there was no cuts, no bruises, and um, it was just a very scary time. Domestic violence is a sinister crime. The one you trust and love the most violently turning on you. And oftentimes victims are left just not knowing what to do or where to turn for help. Only on two, reporter Micah Hatfield shares one brave woman's story of abuse, hoping to give courage to fellow victims in our community. Domestic violence calls are the second highest the Tulsa Police Department gets. In the last six months, they got more than 10,000. There was one incident that um, he became angry at me and grabbed me by the neck and picked me up off the floor. And I, the next thing I knew, I was laying on the floor with my head pounding and the room was dark and I could not see. The woman wanted to be called Hope, something she hopes to give other people who were in the situation she found herself in for 20 years. Hope was enduring physical, verbal, religious, and emotional abuse from her now ex-husband. She says police got involved more than once, and one of the times she ended up in the emergency room. Inside that hospital room, she was given information on how to get in touch with the Domestic Violence Intervention Services. At first I was hanging on to Divis's courage. <laughs> I didn't have that courage on my own. And eventually, through all their supports, I found that courage with inside me to say, I'm done. Though the emotional scars will always be there, Fortunately, Hope doesn't have any long-term physical effects from her years of abuse. But that's not true for everyone, especially victims of strangulation. And the injury isn't always visible. It can then, um, you know, occlude their airway even. And, um, you know, if they fall asleep while that airway is being occluded, there's no one there watching them maybe, then that's when somebody can die from, from that. And there will be a mark on them. So Tulsa police officers are handing out these cards when they respond to domestic violence calls where the victim has been strangled. It tells the symptoms of strangulation, how dangerous it is, that it can lead to fatality later on. They also have someone cold calling strangulation victims, encouraging them to get checked out by a doctor. So far, they've had 30 people come in because of their calls. One found out she had a stroke and didn't know it. Part of being strangled is memory loss. You won't remember. And, and leaving that card with them and having an advocate call them later and to show them that, I mean, to let them know. And it's a non-police officer telling them, hey, this is very dangerous. The situation you're in is, is important. That's why we're doing it. They're also trying to get nurses in hospitals involved in spotting domestic abuse and figuring out the threat level to the victims then putting them in touch with someone who can make an escape plan. TPD is rolling out the program with nurses at Hillcrest Medical Center. Even if they're at their own house, is it safe to be at their house or do they need to go to the shelter or do they need to go out of town to somebody else's house? You know, that's, that's the type of stuff they would go through to um, figure out what's the safest. Strangulation is a big focus of the push by TPD. They say it's the step right before homicide. Somebody um, kind of likened it to waterboarding. You can do it over and over again. You don't really hurt them. And, the, you know, physically where you can see trauma. Hope's advice to people who get that phone call or have someone reach out to them with help is to be honest with the person on the other end of the line and not worry about what the abuser is going to think. Just know that that person is a lifeline for you at that moment and you need to tell be honest and tell them the truth and tell them tell them the bad stuff tell them the stuff that you're ashamed for anybody to know the family safety center does offer free forensic exams to domestic violence victims micah hatfield two works for you all right we are